my name is Josephine Lee and I am here to do my speech about my heritage. Everyone comes from a different background and we all have different stories. Those stories usually defines us who we are and where we come from. My grandmother is one who defines who I am and she has told me remarkable stories about her life through all the good and the bad and from this we will uh, begin to understand about uh, my culture and you will actually learn about my family's history. Um, I would like to start with a brief history about my grandmother. She was, uh, she is Korean and her name is Nokia Lee and she was born in 1938 in Okasa, Japan. Um, during the time when she was born is when she, um, when the, is when the Japanese actually invaded Korea. So that is why her parents were living in Japan at that time. And her father was actually working in Japan. Um, only at seven months old, um, my grandmother's father passed away from an unknown accident, and because of that, uh, my grandmother's mother moved back to Korea. My grandmother was mainly raised by her uncle and her grandparents, and um, my grandmother lived in Gangnam Kosongan. It's a countryside of Korea. Growing up, my grandmother was surrounded by two major wars that happened in Korea, and because of the time period she lived in, she had a very difficult life, and one um, difficulty that she, she had growing up was education. My grandmother stated that education was not like how we have it today. Um, at age eight, the Japanese invasion was still going on, and when she was in school, um, the Japanese actually taught the Korean kids um, Japanese and there was no uh, Korean language allowed actually and um, when the Korean got free for Japan the Japanese people left and the Koreans actually started to teach um, but by that time there was also the Korean War that happened between the North and the South and it got um, too crazy where uh, the kids didn't actually go to school anymore and the teachers didn't even get to teach so that is why she ended up being homeschooled um, by her uncle. In 1957 at age 20 she got married on an arranged marriage and had a total of six kids. Uh, she um, actually uh, did a lot of um, <coughs> She sold a lot of uh, rice, working out rice fields and eggs, uh, raising chickens, and also um, selling fish at fish markets. Uh, she eventually moved to Busan, which is the second largest city in Korea, and made money there by selling fish. Um, my grandmother mentioned that the countryside was definitely uh, not worth it for her. The city was always better, which is Pusan, and she had a better life there. <clears throat> um, not only did my hi uh, grandma's history interesting, but the events that occurred during her time was also interesting, and that would have to be the colonial period in Korea. According to Asia for Educators, written in 2009, after a nationwide po protest against Japanese colonism that began on March 1st, 1919, Japanese rule relaxed somewhat, allowing a limited degree of freedom of expression of Koreans. Koreans were forced to work in Japanese factories and were sent as soldiers to the front. This explained why actually my grandmother was born in Japan, that is because her um, father actually had to work in Japan. Um, because And there are actually no jobs in uh, Korea either. In um, Asia for Educators 2009 also states that in 1939, Koreans were even pressured by colonial authorities to change their names to Japanese names. More than 80% of the Koreans compiled um, compl Sorry, compiled with the name change. And my grandmother actually mentioned this to me, how she had to change her name. Um, and she was given a Japanese name, which is Okana. And she doesn't remember the last name, but that was her first name. In 1945, the Japanese finally surrendered and the World War II ended. Um, after the colonial period ended in 1945, 
a second uh, event happened during my grandmother's life, and that was also the Korean War, which is known as the Cold War. According to Australian War Memorial 1968, uh, the crisis in Korea originated in the closing phrases of the Second World War, when the control of the Korean Peninsula, formerly occupied by J Japan, was entrusted to the Allies and United States and the Soviet Union divided responsibility for the country between them. In this course of the next few years, the Soviet Union fostered a strong communist government in the north while the U.S. supported the government in the south. Basically, this is a war where it happened between the north and the south Koreans. My grandmother's experience during the Korean War was tragic. She said she was only 12 years old and she still know what um, what it was like during that time period. Uh, she said that school was canceled, nobody seemed to be outside, and it was dark and scary. Uh, sometimes we didn't even have, uh, sometimes we didn't even get to eat because my grandparents and uncles couldn't go out to work to get food. I heard people screaming. I'm just grateful that I'm alive. My grandmother is someone who I actually look up to and I have a lot of respect for. Every little experience um, that she has been through during her childhood has molded her into who she is today. And she has definitely had made an impact in my life and helped me to appreciate where I come from about and where um, what my heritage is all about. Thank you. That is it.